Well, well, well. Hello there. It finally happened. They've gone far enough for me to start my own channel. My name's Mr. Scotty, and my channel, I don't know what the heck it's going to be called. You'll see it, maybe, if you ever watch this video, which most people probably won't. But I finally have had enough. Um, we are living in a toxic SJW, which is social justice warrior, normie world where I guess being a 40 something white male, no one wants to make movies for us anymore. Uh, we're either the joke of a movie now or the catalyst for the powerful young woman or minority or gay or whoever to step all over to reach their goal. I have no issue, zero issue with anyone's race, anyone's sexuality, anything. I have friends of all different types and the way I look at it is I judge a person by their character, but I have to, it's just all these things I've been seeing so far in the media and in movies the last few years, um, or as Jeremy from Geek, Geeks and Gamers says, the orange man took office. Um, it just, it's, it's finally, I finally have reached my end. So instead of just sitting there and complaining about it like a lot of people do. I'm putting my foot in my mouth most likely and I'm starting my own channel. Again, Mr. Scotty, have no clue what the name of the channel is gonna be, uh, but I hope you will, will like it. I hope there's somebody out there that this helps or understands where I'm coming from because really this is just gonna be a channel of me venting. Um, there's great channels out there that already take care of this content, Nerd Nerdrotic, uh, Doomcock, uh, that Star Wars girl, um, Smokescreen. There's some great channels out there. Uh, so most likely mine won't be as nearly as good as theirs. Um, well, I'm really selling myself here. Uh, it's going to be low budget, neither shop for my phone or computer, but guess what? I'm going to talk about what I like. I'm going to talk about what I don't like, and I'm going to be honest. And that's all, all I can ask of myself. And that's all I ever ask of anybody else. So feel free to tell me you don't like me. Feel free to like, subscribe, share, do all the other things I guess we do for other YouTubers we like. Um, but when I saw a tweet from that Star Wars girl where uh, she was, I can't remember the topic she was discussing, but someone referred to her sister who passed away in one of the most vile things I've ever seen on Twitter. Uh, someone saying what they said to her I tell you right now, if they said that to me, um, let's just say people will have a lot of balls when they're sitting behind their computer screen on their keyboard typing away and you can say something that vile to someone who just wants to make a living doing what she loves uh, and, and attacking her for a death in her family, using that as your reason to hurt her and then uh, that Star Wars girlfriend, Jesse, who I believe is part of Geeks and Gamers, um, responded with a simple phrase that I would have used about this person. I probably would have said 10 times worse. Um, she gets locked by Twitter. She gets locked by Twitter, probably because she speaks her mind and, and these companies like Twitter, like YouTube, who I'm hoping won't, you know, ban me, um, like Facebook, who have their own their own version of what this world should be. See, they're not free platforms. None of these are. Um, they they want us to to speak our minds if only we agree with them, and that's not fair. That is not fair. Uh, this is America. Uh, we do have freedom of speech here. I know some people think uh, that we shouldn't. Um, you know the the wacky far rights of the world and far lefts of the world and. Um, I'm somewhere in the middle. I'm a man who just wants to have a good living and take care of his family and support them and watch his children grow to be strong adults and good people. Um, so, but what I'm seeing even in my media, and that's what this is going to be about. 
this channel I'm, I'm figuring out as we go okay so sorry but this channel is going to be about just nothing too crazy off the topic but the shows I love the comic books I grew up with the superhero the fantasy the sci-fi that I love that is now getting twisted and changed and remade instead of uh, people making their own versions of superheroes of um, sorcerers of I think you know where I'm going with this instead of ruining what I grew up with and what I loved make your own if you want a lesbian crime fighter create one if you want a uh, black superhero create one look at Black Panther great character there are so many great minority black female characters out there strong superheroes that that you don't have to destroy mine you know uh, Thor a drunk fat bum um, you know killing off Tony Stark uh, you know Spider-Man Spider-Man um, making him a groupie of Tony Stark like a wannabe Avenger look the Spider-Man I read as a kid he was his own man, okay? Yes, he was at like his late teens, early 20s, but he didn't need anybody else's help. He went out there, he made mistakes, he learned from them, he, he grew from them, and he became a better man because of it. And, and you know, they, they created Miles Morales. What a great character, you know? What a fantastic character. That's what these people need to do. So instead of turning my superheroes into women, or, you know, killing them off and replacing them with a different one. Or like what Star Wars is doing right now. Where they're uh, belittling the past and killing the past, you know, to go forward or whatever. You know, they say Jar Jar Abrams and Kathleen Kennedy have just destroyed, you know, the the myth that I grew up with. The these, Because the, that's what Star Wars was for me. It was a mythology. It was about... A distant, a distant past that was in the future. I mean, when I saw Return of the Jedi as a kid in the movie theaters, it changed my life. All I wanted to do was soak up all that stuff. And what did they do to Luke Skywalker? The guy at the end of Return of the Jedi who throws down his lightsaber, excuse me, laser sword, and, and says, I will not do this. I am a Jedi like my father before me. It gives me chills just thinking about it. And what is he doing... In The Last Jedi, uh, yeah, he has a bad dream, so he has a second where he thinks he's going to kill his nephew yeah, of his sister and best friend. He was going to kill him. Makes no sense. So, all right, this is already long enough. Um, again, my name's Mr. Scotty. Uh, really, if you like it, hit like, share, comment below. If you don't like me, comment. I'll try to respond to them. Um, again, I have no subs. I have nothing. You know, I work. I have kids. So, late at night, I got something to do. I'll respond to you. Hope all is well with you all. And uh, remember, fear and anger lead to the dark side.